Hello and welcome to Stampin' by Hannah. Today I have a card for you, but it's a card with a difference because it is a pop-up gift card holder. Now I haven't got a gift card to hand, but I have got one of those pre-approved um, credit cards. So they're the same size. And all that you... Um, the gift card just slots just simply, as she says, slots in there. So when you open the card, it pops up. Um, I have to admit this is not my idea. <laughs> um, and I give Michelle last full credit for this, but I thought I would make my own version. So this is um, crushed curry um, and the flashback paper. But the one I'm going to do today is Lost Lagoon. So I've got a piece of Lost Lagoon and some of the Moonlight Designer Series paper, but we'll come to that in a minute. So, sort out my notes. Oh dear. I've been playing around all morning and everything's kind of all got a bit strange. So, this piece of um, Lost Lagoon cardstock measures... 14.8 centimetres by 29.7 centimetres, which is a full length piece of cardstock, um, just cut kind of down the length. So if that's the that would if that's the top of your cardstock, then I've cut a piece off here. Um, so I yeah, shall I say that again? It's 29. 0.7 centimetres which is 11 and 3 quarters by 5 and 3 quarters which is 14.8 centimetres I'm trying to do this centimetres and inches thing I can't promise it's going to work so we're going to need our, our we are going to need our scoreboard but first of all let's just get me get myself all organised here first thing we're going to do is going to fold this piece in half you could if you had, I've only got to hand, I've only got the um, Simply Scored, which is all Imperial. So I'm in the interest of keeping things simple, I'm just going to fold it in half. Then you, with your Simply Scored, open that card back out again. And with this crease kind of facing up at you, so it's like a tent, put it on your scoreboard. And you need to score at four and one eighth of an inch or ten and a half centimetres if you're doing it in metric and then turn it around that way and score it again at four and an eighth or ten and a half centimetres right then what we're going to do is we're going to fold if that's that way we're going to fold these pieces this way so Fold both of those. It's kind of the opposite way, so you end up with a kind of W shape. And then, with that in that W shape, we're going to um, make that this piece where your card kind of pops up. And we're going to do that with the decorative labels punch. So if you open your punch, and we're going to slide our card stock in, so it's folded in half along that middle score line and we're going to feed it into our punch but only up to the kind of middle bits or those two little marks so I'm going to try and do this so you can see it and I can see it at the same time I can't promise anything um, and get it lined up kind of centrally I'm just eyeballing it but you could use your grid paper or measure or be really precise I'm not very precise <laughs> fair to wing it um, punch and it does take a little bit of pressure because you are cutting through two layers of cardstock so there's your label piece and then when you take your punch away you have this so this is where your um your gift card goes but it's not going to fit at the moment because we've got these two little knobby bits so we're going to take our paper snips and we're just going to straighten up these edges so just straighten it up on both sides and then that allows our gift card to slip in and out easily 
if you leave your gift card in there and fold fold it all back you can see where your gift card needs to be inside so we're going to put glue here and here but not on this bit because that's going to stop your gift card from sliding in you could put a very thin strip of glue along this edge so that your gift card doesn't pop out there um, on the on the actual card because it does have a habit you put your gift card in too far it may pop out the bottom um, I'm not going to do that just because I'm going for speed um, but you could put a piece of um, sticky strip yeah, so I've got my fast fuse today and I'm just going to pop little bits of fast fuse oh I think it's run out oh no that's all right I've got one on order it should come tomorrow just want to get this video filmed well I'm going to use I'm going to be really naughty then I'm going to use snail purely for video purposes but you please use sticky strip or um, fast fuse you could use Tombow um, I just don't like wet glue very much and then fold this piece back over onto that piece which gives you that I just think this is the coolest thing ever when I came across this um, I was like this is just I don't know where, I don't know where Michelle last got it from she might have um, she might have invented it I don't know <laughs> but I just think it's the coolest thing in the world I've then got um, two pieces of DSP like I said this is the, from the Moonlight Designer Series paper stack which is this one which is lovely it's got loads of it's the in colours for 2014-2016 so it's got Blackberry Bliss and Lost Lagoon and Hello Honey in it and it's just lovely um, so my pieces of DSP are cut at five and five eighths of an inch by four which is 14.3 by 10 centimeters and I've got two of those one for the front and one for the inside and then I've also got two pieces of um, whisper white cardstock which are cut at five and three eighths of an inch by three and three quarters which is 13.8 by nine and a half centimeters don't worry about writing any of these things down because they will be on my blog <laughs> hopefully so a little bit of stamping let's move this punch out of the way I've got two stamp sets today I've got work of art and I've got the something to say um, just because I wanted to, I wanted a sentiment and there is sentiments in this but I wanted a happy birthday so what I've got I've got some I've got smoky slate lost lagoon and hello honey inks as well <laughs> so I'll do the front piece first. Actually, I will do them both together. You take the zigzag stamp from that work of art into the smoky slate and just down at the bottom for the front piece and across the middle for the inside piece. I'm going to pop that inside piece over to one side. And then I'm going to take Hello Honey and this stamp from work about which is like a swooshy stamp i love it and i'm going to stamp off and then i'm going to stamp it just there i think and that's all the hello honey oh if i can close up my ink pad there we go and i've got lost lagoon and i've got the four just four which i'm going to stamp there and the U, which I'm just going to pop just underneath, and the happy birthday stamp from that's something to say. I'm going to pop across the middle. I'll close this ink pad up before I put my hand in it. So, what we're going to do now, time to assemble it all together. Oh. So, I've got my two pieces of DSP. And what I'm going to find my snail. Oh dear, it's all going wrong today. Everything. Oh, my desk is an absolute disaster zone. That one on there. I tend to use snail or dimensionals when I'm sticking Whisper White onto things because 
or fast fuse actually I've been using a lot of clouds with clouds with fast fuse actually um I wouldn't use a wet glue with whisper white just because it has a tendency to show through so that's the inside there and this is the front just goes and there we are two now gift card pop-up gift card holders all ready for birthdays and any other event you've got going to give a gift card for thanks for watching go and check out my blog um, in the down bar below the link in the down bar below links directly to this project um, just so it's really easy for you and um, I'll see you again soon. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.